Hey, I'm Lyra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate as well as a travel and lifestyle brand. So today we're going to be talking about Kenya. <laughs> I don't know why I have to sing. Anyway, so I've never been to Kenya before and I asked a few Kenyans that are also travelers alongside YouTubers to please give me information on what do I need to do? How do I like navigate Kenya when I want to come to Kenya? I'm like, okay, without like keeping all this information to myself. Let them actually do a full video that I can share with you guys. I've done the same thing with other YouTubers from other countries. For example, South Africa, I will link it here. I will also link Ghana up here. So if you haven't watched those videos, you should go watch them. This video is mostly going to be about Kenya, of course, from the title you can tell. So Sheila and Karen are going to explain to us three major things. One, we want to know what are the things we should consider before coming to the country. Hi guys and Jumbo, my name is Sheila Chelangat, a content creator from Kenya. I create content in line of fashion and style, you should check me out. So I'm going to tell you guys a lot about Kenyan tourism in a few words. Uh, as a foreigner, you can really get along with anybody uh, because of English being spoken widely in, in Kenya. In order for you as a foreigner to get into Kenya, you obviously need a visa and for most nationalities you need to, you, you can buy the visas at the airport. So if you're planning a trip to Kenya, I'll have a few tips for you so that you can be safe and healthy. First is Kenya is in a tropical area, meaning that mosquitoes which cause malaria are breeding in Kenya. So be sure to get the right medication or vaccines which are provided by some net countries against malaria before you visit Kenya. If you're also planning to have any bushy safaris or anywhere where there will be small insects, be sure to carry with you mosquito or insect repellent which will help you avoid any mishaps which might happen in the bushes. In the streets of the big cities, don't wear any flashy jewelry which might be expensive and also if you are a vlogger or somebody who likes taking photos kindly don't carry your camera equipment because those are very popular monkeys <laughs> and pickpockets hello my name is karen myro munene and i am a lifestyle travel and advice youtuber from nairobi kenya now you're probably thinking what do i need to know before i visit your country karen number one is go have a visit with your doctor just get all the shots you need before coming because we have that thing called malaria and a few other diseases that might get to you if you're not immunized from them. The second thing is we are a hustling nation so take your personal safety rules before coming to the country. The third thing is research on the weather. Our weather is generally amazing both during the rainy and the dry season but I feel like if you want to experience Kenya at its finest you should probably come during the dry season. The fourth thing is for the sake of shopping and just day-to-day -day interaction, you might want to learn a few Swahili words that will take you a long way. And finally, please be prepared to have the adventure of a lifetime. Kenya is filled with surprises. So I've not said that. What are the places we need to visit? What are the places I need to like make sure I don't miss out of when I come to Kenya? Yeah. On to my top five places that you need to visit if you come to Kenya. Number one is Masai Mara. The second place that I suggest you need to visit is Lake Nakuru. The third place is, I think, where most of us always end up going when you come to Kenya, and that is our coast. The fourth part, like, I don't know how you can come to Kenya and not visit Nairobi. Now, the fifth place is what we're kind of proud of here in Kenya. The second highest peak in Africa, Mount Kenya. So, why should you visit Kenya? We have several attractions for you as a tourist, and that is wildlife safaris, as for safaris, you don't really have to only travel through roads as we also have air safaris where you can fly with hot air balloons. That's actually one of my dreams, I've never done it. <laughs> Cultural attractions. The best time to visit Kenya as a tourist is from January to March and then June to October. This is because of the rainy, rainy season. At this time, the rainy seasons are over. So for the person who enjoys historical sites, we have several historical sites. For example, the Lamu Old Town, which is a very old town. And a fun fact about Lamu is, there is no motorized transportation there. To get around in Lamu, you have to use donkeys. And I think that's fun. 
And if you are one of those of us who enjoy the beach, you won't be disappointed by the Kenyan beaches as a lot of resorts are located along the beaches. The Kenyan resorts cater from the lower class to upper class. So be sure to Google and book the right resort for you. Lastly, you guys know, at least if you've been following me for quite a while, you know I'm a tourism development advocate. I'm always advocating for tourism, right? So I want to know what are the things that need to be developed to take Kenya tourism to the next level because we don't know who might be watching that would actually put this in place in terms of their policy and you know development uh, development plans for the country in terms of tourism and other plans, not just tourism, you know. But yeah, this is what they had to say. One thing which I think the Kenyan government can improve on is the infrastructure in the coastal, at the coastal area. The government can also find more ways to provide jobs at the coastal area f areas for the young people. This will take these young people away from, away from the beach, which will help keep the beach area safer. If you guys are planning to visit Kenya, I hope you enjoy your trip and uh, make sure to do more research online there's a lot of information provided in the search engine there's a few ways i feel like we could improve in kenya is our poaching is pathetic we can't seem to realize how valuable our animals are and we keep killing them the second thing i think we could do is just invest in our um, game parks and national reserves and all of that and just beautify it a bit more if you're thinking of coming to kenya get on the plane and come, you will not regret your stay here. So if you're interested in seeing more about my country and seeing me take adventures all over my beautiful country, be sure to follow my YouTube channel, Myra's Space. So thank you so much for having me and I hope you've learned a few things about Kenya. So that is from me and my fellow YouTubers today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educative to you to some extent and I hope you also inspired you to travel africa i hope you also inspired you to make that booking today if you need more um, explanation on how to you know make bookings you can click the link in my description i have a few blog posts up on places to visit in kenya based on other collaborations i have done on my blog yes that's it from me you guys and if you have any questions i'll be very happy to answer if you have any questions for them you can also ask it in the comment section you can also follow them on instagram I want their social media handles that I would have left on their, you know, images that you guys saw earlier. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. I don't want to keep stalling. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this video if you think it's worth liking. And share with your family and friends if you think it's worth sharing. Um, for those who want to travel or don't know where to visit, you should share this video with them. This video will obviously be of some help to them. Help people. Help them. Help. Sharing is loving. Loving is sharing. <laughs> Anyways guys, till next time, do not forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace!